in india especially in hindu families our grandparents and parents usually insist on sleeping in the correct direction by not paying heed to their words if we sleep in some random direction as per our wish our grandparents and parents would most probably try to convince us and if we still ignore them maybe sometimes they would even go to the extent of vehemently scolding us and would unwaveringly insist on sleeping in the correct direction if at all we slept with our head pointed towards the north they wouldn't be convinced and would make sure that we sleep towards south or east when we are young out of our ignorant childishness we would have tried to confront them and end up thinking that they know nothing and they just keep blabbering due to their old age well there's a particularly significant scientific reason regarding why one must not sleep with their head pointed towards north well you all must have seen a compass and have known the mechanism behind its functioning in ancient times before the technological boom the sailors during their sea voyages used a compass for the purpose of navigation the compass has a magnetic needle which always points towards the magnetic north pole The earth which is in the shape of an ellipsoid has a magnetic field which is caused due to the dynamo effect of the molten metallic fluids of iron and nickel in the earth's outer core. The compass needle points towards the magnetic north pole and depending on the region and declination it shows the true geographic north more or less accurately. The earth's magnetic field varies with region and has an effect on almost everything. The Himalayas continue to rise by more than 1 cm every year due to the tectonic movement of the Indian plate pushing northward towards the Eurasian plate. Earth's magnetic field slightly affects our body and health as well. When one sleeps with their head pointed to north, the body's magnetic field interferes with that of the earth. This can fluctuate our blood pressure and can even cause heart problems. The red colored protein in our blood, hemoglobin, is made up of iron and due to its magnetic nature, it somewhat gets attracted by the magnetic pull of the north pole, thereby increasing the flow of blood towards the brain region, causing unsteady blood circulation, serious headaches, insomnia, and in the long run, it could possibly result in serious hemorrhages paralytic strokes increased blood pressure heart problems etc physically weakened elderly people often die while they are fast asleep according to the hindu customs the dead bodies before cremation are placed in such a way that the head of the deceased is pointed towards north well it doesn't mean that if you sleep with your head pointed towards north for a day or two all of these harmful consequences would appear this happens if one sleeps in this direction every day over several years hence our grandparents wouldn't allow us to sleep in any random direction as per our wish we the so called people of the technologically advanced age think that we are the smartest people to have ever lived and walked on our planet earth our ancestors had a comparatively superior bodily strength cranial capacity and this is somewhat slowly degenerating over the generations which direction is most ideal and conducive for sleeping our body can be visualized as a magnet and the head region of our body acts as a positive pole so pointing our head towards south or east while sleeping is highly preferable and this could fill us with positive energy and happiness west is also okay but north is not at all preferred and we must never sleep with our head pointed towards north In Sanatana Dharma each and every cultural and traditional practice has an in-depth meaning and is scientifically backed our customs traditions rituals are not superstitions they are beyond the perception of prejudiced colonized minds hence they are devalued and often downplayed mocked and demeaned We are being conditioned to undermine and look down upon our own culture and we are getting deracinated and disconnected from our ancient past Let us decolonize our minds and learn the true and the glorious history of our Bharat. We at United Originals are making a small attempt to explain the significance and greatness of Sanatana Dharma through animated videos. We hope to make many such videos which is only possible with your support.